With a wave of his hand, <gasps> Emil Grafstra can unlock the door to his house. Even his car has a keyless entry system without a remote. In 2005, the 37-year-old decided to implant himself with two rice grain size radio frequency identification or RFID chips based on a simple premise. Authorization to get into a place is really about, you know, identity, not about having a key that's secure. The chips aren't visible under his skin, and Grafster says he doesn't even feel them. Implanting yourself with an RFID tag is a process that takes less than a minute. Grafstra has successfully built prototypes that allow the implanted RFID chip to communicate with smartphones, share contact details with friends, and even open doors. The technology is called NFC, or Near Field Communication. Grafstra's next step, crowdfunding. One of the things that we're working on is kind of uh, continuing the development in the NFC space to create a secure uh, storage medium for, you know, Bitcoin wallet addresses, um, private encryption keys, that kind of stuff. Xinhua Chang created a blog called Everyday NFC and wrote a book by the same name. She doesn't believe human RFID chip implants are very practical. The technology changed so fast. If there's a next generation tech or chips came out, you, if you use implant, you have to be uh, to do another transition for the technology. I just feel like it's not that convenient. But Grafstra does see a future for RFID implants and a market. He's already sold more than 500 self-implant kits online. Chris Cascajo, CCTV, Mount Vernon, Washington.